Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the TV series MASH. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. MASH is a timeless gem that has left indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So without further ado, let's dive into the world of MASH. McLean Stevenson was born in 1927 in the series to play Lieutenant Colonel Henry Blake. In 1972, when he was in the series, he was 45, and sadly he passed away on February 15, 1996 at 68. He's here, Under sir. On General. General Kelly just pulled in the compound. Holy moly. Okay, stash the polish. I'll put it into Pete. They went on board the submarine. And they talked about you and so forth and so on. I couldn't, for the life of me, figure out how anybody could exist on one of those things. You have to be about four. Jamie Farr was born in 1934. In the series, he played Corporal Maxwell Klinger. In 1972, when he was in the series, he was 38 and now he's 89. The rest goes to Milton Berle, Nelson Rockefeller and Bishop Sheen. Ah, the aroma of gracious living. Smell it? Yeah, I'd like to. And Gene greets me and he takes me into the trailer and there's this uh, army wax, women's army corps uniform hanging up with these huge high... Mike Farrell was born in 1939. In the series, he played Captain B.J. Honeycutt. In 1975, when he was in the series, he was 36 and now he's 85. For me, one week equals one shift. In other words, big business. Too big. No. Was your mother Spanish? No, what? That eliminates Benito Juarez. <laughs> There's an innate need to connect with other people that we're experiencing the, the, the missing, the, the, the lack of mm -hmm. this business of being. Alan Alda was born in 1936 in the series to play Captain Benjamin Franklin Pierce. In 1972, when he was in the series, he was 36 and now he's 88. To flee! One last drink, my wee bonnie lassie, to celebrate our cowardly retreat. But time to flee! Rosie, who gave you the blue medicine for your gun? In this small town, and there was this brilliant surgeon there, and he communicated to me so beautifully. He said, here's what's happened. Some of Odessa Cleveland was born in 1944. In the series, she played Lieutenant Ginger Bayless. In 1972, when she was in the series, she was 28, and now she's 80 years old. Not on that kidney. Anyone for orange juice? Over here, boy. The journal up yet? Huh? Each doll became a race. Negro colored me with curly curls. Harry Morgan was born in 1915 in the series to play Colonel Sherman T. Potter. In 1974, when he was in the series, he was 59, and sadly he passed away on December 7, 2011, at 96. I one of the judges so she might win. <laughs> uh, no radar. Uh, home uh, where you are at the 4 -0 double natural. How, how are things? Probably an officer weakness. Uh, he was very human, very uh, kind. Uh, wonderful. Wayne Rogers was born in 1933 in the series to play Captain Trapper John McIntyre. In 1972, when he was in the series, he was 39 and sadly passed away on December 31st, 2015, at the age of 82. Evil. The lab equipment went up San Juan Hill with Teddy Roosevelt. Most of you guys wouldn't know a disease unless it was social and there's not a clean finger in the whole camp. What'd you get? Prior to getting there, how they found me, uh, I did a test. That was one thing. I, uh, they, uh, they, uh, but I was doing tests for a lot of things, I mean, you know. Larry Linville was born in 1939 in the series to play Major Frank Burns. In 1972, when he was in the series, he was 33, and sadly he passed away on April 10, 2000, at 60 years old. You're right, Frank. And that wrinkled shirt doesn't help either. Well, where I'm going, nobody cares how I look. Be more specific, that could be anywhere. I'm going out into the jungle to hunt for Margaret. Well, I understand she's game. Now, don't be a s***. No. Really? No. Not even from all the syndication? No. How is that possible? Well, because on syndication you get uh, probably as much as car insurance. 
Oh. And you got first you got. Gary Burkhoff was born in 1943 in the series to play Corporal Walter O'Reilly. In 1972, when he was in the series, he was 29, and now he's 80 years old. Goodbye. Gee, ma'am, thanks a lot for keeping your call within time. I sure do appreciate that. Did you find out when your colonel's coming back? Yes. There's others in Butte County. All donations will go directly to the North Valley Community Foundation and their Northern California Fire Relief David Ogden Sears was born in 1942 in the series to play Major Charles Winchester. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 35, and sadly he passed away on March 3, 2018, at 75. The reverence for the game of bridge always depresses me to see people attempted who are better suited to Canasta or Panguini. Are you making cracks about my better half? We are... Uh, we are completely able in, in our own lives to find that energy and uh, power and solve our problems. Loretta Swit was born in 1937 in the series she played Major Margaret Holyhan. In 1972, when she was in the series, she was 35 and now she's 86. Now, I will give you the preliminary exam and then the doctors will go to work on you. Bear in mind strongly about the issues that were. We also had a lot of input. They, they, they did uh, consult. Kelly Nakahara was born in 1948 in the series to play Lieutenant Kelly Yamato. In 1973, when he was in the series, she was 25, and sadly he passed away on February 16, 2020, at 72. Oh, isn't it awful? A relapse. Maybe we could cure it. How? William Christopher was born in 1932 in the series to play Father Francis Mulcahy. In 1972, when he was in the series, he was 40 years old and sadly he passed away on December 31st, 2016 at 84. You look busy. I am. What do you want? I don't want to sound critical. I mean, after all, you are new at the job. Still, it is turning colder and we do need them. And when we reflect on the incredible journey of MASH that took place between 1972 and 1983, witnessing their growth and transformation, we can see that the connection from those years left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.